Hello everyone and welcome back to Endzone. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. Now we are still doing the tutorial and it's been a while I played this so I have to catch up. Yes, we did the electric electricity last time and we are building a what? A forum. Yes, for the social stuff. Okay, and I think think yeah there's no more scrap here so let's change the working area I don't know maybe here okay and what's that okay we did just that. Okay, and we are building this, right? Yeah, they will uh, remove radiation and then they can build it up. Yeah, let's put a few fissure here. Why not? And we are no okay let's let's research something loitering band what's that Technology enables our fishermen to lure more fish as a result. Fishing cuts can be placed closer to each other without their working areas mutually influencing each other. Okay, I, I was reading this and uh, I, I, I don't know if it's a good idea because, because they cannot boost their confidence but they will work more. I don't know about that. Let's go for resources. Hemp weaving meal. A hemp weaving meal uh, reduces cloth from hemp. And do we have a hemp farm? Probably we can we can uh, produce hemp. But uh, there is any technology for producing. Uh, producing uh, more uh, seeds warehouse warehouse provides additional space for resources this building cannot be used to house water we don't have enough scrap for that in the improved radio mass uh, trading post we can contact traders in a targeted manner that enables us to choose the next trader who lands at our settlement Okay, I think we don't do anything right now as we search. And we are still in the tutorial, so... Did I see how many free workers in the sign workforce? Two. Okay. Did an expedi expedi mm. expedition here. And that's it. Can we send out another expedition while we are waiting? We could, but I think uh, uh, that's beyond the point. I just want to get over with the tutorial and get into the actual game.
Can I transform the land? Get rid of this. Oh, I know what we should... Uh, uh, what we should research. Coal mining. Mining coal at the mine is considerably more efficient than council efficient and conserves more resources than coal production from our coal thing. This technology additionally unlocks the building mine. Mining iodine. Mining for construction. I wonder if uh, we can progress more than just five. Okay, let's build a forum. Settlers' requests are collected for you at the forum. You ought to check every now and then whether you might be willing to agree to one of those wishes. However, the forum is not only responsible for enabling your settlers to turn to you. At the forum, you can address them too. You can issue decrees and establish rules at the forum, stating how your settlers need to behave. This way, for example, you can ration food and water, or go so far as to prohibit your settlers from reproducing in the near future. Oh! Banish elderly! Banish children! Birth control. Motivation, religion, immunity. Let us consider our first and let us make this back in order to prevent the outbreak of new diseases. Search for survivors. Water rationing, food rationing. Okay, so uh, what do we have to do again? Birth control. Uh, the effect of a last weekly has an ongoing impact on the settlement on trees uh, about one period. The point in time when the decrease is no longer in force is allowed. Okay, decree is shoot. Many of the decrees are extremely helpful toward enabling the survival of your settlement. Though you should watch out that you don't demand too much of your settlers. If you ask too much of them, it can lead to discontentment spreading throughout your settlement. That's why you always ought to use caution in deciding which decrees you want to impose. If those are your instructions, Chief, that's the way we will stick to them, even though we are not particularly happy about them and would gladly decide for ourselves when we start our families. It would be better if you could see uh, to it that we are able to continue to grow. Although such a thriving settlement like this one here not only has its advantages, it could be that the attention of prowling raiders is drawn to you, and you'll have to defend yourself against them. First of all, it's going to be important to set up your own defenses. An ammunition factory is going to be necessary to arm those settlers who will be defending your settlement in the future. It would be best if you also assigned several technicians right away who are supposed to work at the ammunition factory. Okay, now let's build an ammunition factory. Let's build some streets.
Okay, and let's check out the people needs. Commissioning to special rewards such as these. Hmm, our scouts have made a remarkable discovery of fragmentary blueprint found in the dilapidated end zone. It seems to be, to be for our vehicle known as the Pathfinder. It could serve as a symbol of progress and source of inspiration for your community. We might have to disassemble our own bus to put it uh, together uh, through and spend some time rebuilding our town center. What do you say, Chief? Let's do it! Okay, and what's happening? They're disassembling, or we can... Okay, we can upgrade the town center. Let's upgrade it. Okay, I, this is for just building the stuff. The main thing that is uh, uh, troublesome for me that I, I don't see uh, the consumption and the production of goods. So I don't see the balance. I just see how many do we have. And this is this is not that helpful. Storage. That will be a pain point for me. Great news, we uh, gather the resources and uh, expertise required to reconstruct the Pathfinder from, uh, from the other end zone's blueprint fragments. Together, we will unlock the secrets of this leg legendary vehicle. Now that we have the necessary parts for the Pathfinder, it's time to call upon our most skilled researchers to help with the restoration. We need their expertise to ensure the vehicle ends up functional and reliable. Okay, I see. And we can get the uh, one of your settlers, age child, very old adult, receive a positive effect on their confidence. Let me improve this. Okay, what's the hold up with this? Oh, the gathering resources. Okay. I don't have enough people and I need people for the uh, factory. So this decree is... Uh, can I? No. Ah, I see. This is a timer here. So, when it uh, clocks out, it will be removed, I think.
Okay. But it's good to know. Uh, what's the feast? Oh, these are missions. Uh, you can uh, run out. I see. Okay. Very good. It's left up to you to decide whether you want to have your ammunition factory manufacture lethal or non-lethal ammunition. While lethal ammunition deals damage to the attacking raiders, non-lethal ammunition ensures that their morale sinks. If the raiders have lost all their morale, they'll flee. Hmm. Okay. No matter what type of ammunition you want to have manufactured, one thing can't be missing. Your ammunition factory requires some sulfur for production. Sulfur can be obtained in your mines. To do this, simply instruct your mines to mine sulfur in the future. What mine? Okay, so we have to build a mine. And I can put it. No. I bet I cannot put it there. Requires mountains. Okay, but it's still not. Going. Okay, now how to place a mine. Oh, we managed to do that there. Okay, wait a minute. Uh, let's let's not do that. Maybe, maybe we can mine from that. Yeah. Okay. We'll see. Don't auto save, please. This is just a tutorial. Okay, guys, I'm just looking over the map and there will be a lot of things to consider in this game. It will be it will be a, a surely a learning curve. Even the tutorials are more than two hours long and it's still uh, adding new stuff to it. Okay, what I want. Feast. Okay, I cannot complete the mission from the bulletin board you already taken on before you can take one more mission. Okay. So we need five uh, researcher. Chamber skill researchers agreed to contribute their expertise and build a replica of the Pathfinder. Let's hope that their uh, mechanical master helps us reach our goal. Together, we will bring this dusty old blueprint to life. Chief, it's time to put our plans into action and put our researchers' cooperation to the test. If they've done their job right, our interpretation of the Pathfinder should be up and running in no time. Let's not waste a moment and get to work. I'm eager to hear the uh, resurrected Pathfinder humming and buzzing once again. Okay, we don't need that many researchers. 
anymore. Okay, where can I? Oh, let's find a replica. Okay. But this can increase the settler's confidence. Let's mine sulfur for the tutorial. need coal, sulfur and iron and this needs plastic okay of ammunition can get going full steam ahead to be able to give your settlement blanket protection against attackers the next thing you want to do is to build several watchtowers and assign militia there your settlers will fire at raiders from these watchtowers it will be best if you place your towers in such a way that they don't stand too close to each other so that your entire settlement can be protected whenever possible Okay, let's build five watchtowers. Let's put one near the cemetery. It has a cost. And we are building this stuff as well. Okay, they're gathering stuff maybe more workers here no they are maxed out okay i think that's the end of the uh, that will be the end of the tutorial the raiders So that's good. I think I still uh, end the video there. Well, cheat, it looks like uh, there was a miscommunication. The researcher seemed 
to have uh, developed a non-functional version of the Pathfinder still the replica is an impressive structure symbolizing our community's resilience uh, while it may not move, it serves as a constant reminder of our uh, resource resourcefulness. Okay, great. That was that. Okay, I want to check on this feast thing because... Of milk and honey. We're doing down well. Chief, despite all the stones that life has laid along the face of our path, we are looking very comfortable towards the future. We think uh, the time has come to create our own land of milk and honey. Would you some choose meal to be too much to ask? Okay, understood. Okay, I, I need to have another Kyotas solution again. Okay. One more source. Is it that I just uh, uh, put down another farm? Or an uh, orchard. And we selecting. Oh, we have, we don't have any. Mm, okay. So we have to find a way. to get the uh, oh and it's it's timed time left okay student housing upgrade shelter kitchen okay now let's let's do kitchen Any watchtowers? Yes. This is also completed. And I can't see our ammunition count anywhere. Oh, I maybe just need a few fishermen and that will be the last source. Would be nice, but we cannot put it anywhere. Well, we will probably fail this uh, uh, task, but it doesn't matter. people this time around oh and it's turning cool Watchtowers form the center of your defense. At each watchtower, you can individually configure the type of ammunition the militia who have been assigned there are supposed to fire at the raiders. As you can see, the raider force is now on its way here. 
pay attention to the direction they're coming from. You might have enough time to adapt your defense a bit. I'm going to keep my head down for the time being, until those scoundrels don't bother the settlement anymore. Good luck. You've said my people are hopeless cases. We were once. I took in one and all. Together we are strong. Give us what we need, then no one will get hurt. Okay, so there are the raiders. They're coming from this way. That means it would be best to place another uh, power there. We have a military uh, uh, floated to watchtowers in this area first. Not push military, I divided among the remaining watchtowers. Okay, let's see if we can finish that up before the raiders are arriving. I don't think we can. Nope. Come on, shoot them! as if they were the last raiders and the settlement still standing well it did get a few scratches here and there but nothing we couldn't recover from okay so watchtowers are are good okay we'll rise again over and over again and that's a promise view losses over you air cost ammunition usage looted resources we get that from raiders interesting however in many cases the raiders won't be paying you a visit just like that without any advance warning and a reason most of the time they'll demand tribute from you beforehand if you can pay this tribute they'll leave you in peace oh that is at least for a certain period of time this time I want you to pay the tribute the raiders are demanding from you, so that we can focus on rebuilding here at the settlement. You can see the kinds of demands the raiders place here. You can decide whether you want to pay them or not. Normally the raiders will attack you if you are not willing to pay. But this is naturally just an uh, exercise. I leave it up to you whether you want to hand over the tribute or not. Let's hand it over. Except. We meet the attacker's chief. We were able to gather up some of the gear uh, they had with them. Some of those things could uh, prove to be extremely useful. Take a look at uh, that chief. Our warehouses are full of delicacies. It's a feast. Very good. By doing so, you bought us a little time to be able to prepare ourselves further. Since we're doing better from one day to the next, we can uh, certainly allow ourselves a bit of di uh, diversion while away the time. I think the time has come at last for me to bow out as mentor. I've taught you everything I know, and you've proven yourself by keeping us healthy and in good spirits. I may have taken care of heading our last days in the end zone, but now all my faith lies with you. I believe that you are going to lead us to a glorious future. Okay, I think that was uh, the tutorial. I end this video here, but uh, when I release this, I probably release uh, another one, which would be the first scenario of the game 
Uh, I hope you enjoyed it uh, and I see you right in the next one. Bye.